Hi there, my name is Tiercy Englehart, and I want to welcome you to the Unreasonably Grateful podcast, Living in Grace by Choice. And I say this every week, but some of you have been with me for a while now, and I want to welcome you back and thank you for sharing your journey with me and for being a part of my journey. And for those of you that are new, perhaps listening and even for the very first time, welcome. I'm grateful to have you, and I'm also honored, and I feel privileged to be sharing bits of my story with you in the hopes that you'll hear something new, or maybe I'll say it in a way that it's not new, but you hear it differently, and the way that you hear it allows you to move forward in your own path, on your own journey, gives you a little bit of freedom, a little more wiggle room, kind of eases the load of learning to love, learning to let people love us, um, yeah, along the way. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I just want to remind you that I don't have your answers. I'm not here to fix or change anyone. I'm simply sharing some of the wisdom that I've gleaned over my now uh, 29-year journey of recovery from maybe more, 39 from 20 years of living with an eating disorder uh, and healing from sexual abuse as a teenager. So um, you have your answers. All I'm doing is attempting to share with you so that you discover what those answers are for yourself. And you begin to see just how amazing and incredible you are and you move along in your own life purpose. So along those lines, uh, over a year now, uh, a year ago now, I started offering individual sessions on Tuesday mornings. And what those are, they're just a by donation basis. It's an opportunity for me to drop in a little deeper with you, to get to know you a little better, and to reflect back to you what I see and what I hear, which is always some version of how amazing you're doing, what a great job you've already done. And uh, just how precious and divine and gifted you are. Oftentimes that little bit of encouragement or inspiration, particularly from an elder, is helpful and meaningful. So I hope so. And for all of you who have set up appointments and set with me, and for those of you that are currently on the schedule, uh, thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life in that way and giving me the opportunity to, yeah, just share your divinity with you, okay? So that's available. You can sign up on tercyenglehart.com under the topic, Work Together. So this particular session is called Just Take the Next Step. And I don't know about you, but we certainly have several members of our own family, and I've spoken with several people this week, And that's really what they say is, I don't really know what to do right now other than just take the next step. And I want to suggest that that's actually all we ever know to do. We may think we know better. We may have these amazing plans and ideas and projects. That's awesome. But no matter what it is that you're working on or working towards or doing in your life, all there is for us to do is to continue to take the next step. And oftentimes from that next position, we see something that we couldn't have seen from where we were previously. And it takes that leap of faith of moving into that next step that actually opens up the path that lays before you. So while all of our grand ideas may be in fact grand, it's only the next step that we can take responsibility for and continue to move forward with. So no matter where you are in your journey, no matter how far you've come, no matter how far you have to go, which none of us ever really know, it's that next step that's most important. So what I'd love for you to take a look at is, what does it take for you to just take one step, get one step closer 
to whatever it is that you're being led to or guided by, or you have the insight that that's the step to take, but perhaps you're scared or you're unsure or you doubt yourself. Great. Let all those things happen because they will, and you won't be able to stop them anyway. And then take that step anyway, trusting that after you take that next step, the next one will appear. And then the next one will appear. And before you know it, you're much further down that path than you ever could have imagined. So this week, I want you to do is simply take the next step. Whatever that means to you, whatever that might look for like for you in your life. Take that step. Be brave. Step out. Be courageous. Take that step. And I'm here cheering you on, and I'll see you next week.